Hey everyone, it's Alex here. I am going to show you how to print out one of the Traveler's Notebook um, inserts. I just came out with August and September. Expect more because I think I'm in love with this size. I want to make everything. Um, but this is kind of my own creation of what I would want in an insert for a month. Um, I'll do a little quick flip through. There's the cover page. The fun little holidays, um, your monthly goals, your weekly goals, and your daily things to track. And I'll do another video where I show this in use so you guys know how to do it. Um, monthly view. It's lined because I like lines. It makes me happy. Spot for monthly goals is September at a glance because this is the August book. And then you've got all your weeklies and it starts with the end of July and then it turns into August and the week is highlighted. Now usually with a monthly calendar it's Sunday through Saturday but most people also like their weeks Monday through Sunday which is why it's highlighted Monday through Sunday. Spot for habit tracking, extra spot for whatever you want to use, weekly goals, what's going on next week and you can see how I do mine. I have like trackers is a thing, but then I write what my trackers are, and one of my goals I elaborated on here, I put, like, my schedule stuff up top, and then my, um, to-do list, what's coming up next week, if you see last week I had, like, things that I needed to do for my to-do list, which I keep right there, so... This is what it looks like, just printed out plain. I like to put covers on mine, but if you don't put a cover, it will just be the front that says August or September, and then the back, which is plain. But I like having, I like to get the double-sided cardstock, so then it's something pretty on the inside, too. So, let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to show you guys how, to, how I print real quick. Um... I lied. I'm not going to pause. We'll go on here real quick. So I have Adobe Acrobat open. Here's my little cheat sheet, guys. You see? Use Adobe Acrobat Reader only. It's free. I'll put the link down below. I designed my layouts in an Adobe program. I think it just is happier. A lot of times, even when I have like printables I'm using from elsewhere, things won't print right, but for some reason, Adobe Acrobat always is happier and then choose actual size duplex printing if you have it go ahead and use it but you're going to want to put flip on the short side um, otherwise it's like one side's going to be one way and the other side's going to be flipped so on mine I have it open don't know why it's upside down but I promise it won't print weird you're going to click print um, I have actual size picked right there. It already says flip on short edge. I always double check everything. I click on properties. Duplex printing is enabled. I always print everything in high quality. And then I go even crazier. I always like triple check everything. Um, and on here is where on mine you can switch short side or long side. And then you would go ahead and print. But I don't need to print because I just printed one out. So let me set up my camera and I'll show you guys um, what it looks like, how to cut it, all that good stuff. All right, so I had to make an extra quick little video to put in here because I realized I didn't show you guys the rest of the book. I just stopped at the weeklies. So after your weeklies, there is a section for gratitude and there's two lines per day and a couple extra lines at the end and a little quote so that way you can either make like a little list of what you're thankful for that day or something good that happened something someone did for you I love doing gratitude journaling it really when I'm on it and do it it really does make a difference um, and then this last little page here is the month in list so it's Books and things you read, music, podcasts, TV shows, um, favorite moments, things you're proud of. So this is like your to do list. Like, you know, sometimes like people don't want to brag about the awesome things they did. So you you write it in your book, dang it. And then you can fill this out like as you go throughout the month. Um, 
And I just think it's a cute, neat little thing to look back on. I love doing like the 30 list project and stuff. And then the end of the book is just several sheets of graph paper. Um, I know all of you love dot grid. I love graph. Let me know below what you guys like, what you prefer. Maybe I'll make different options for it next time. Um, like I said, the back is blank. I actually had added four extra sheets. I only had just a couple of these, but I started using it in mine and with the notes and I started tracking other stuff. I can't even turn pages, but I wanted more sheets. I think it's nice. You can make an extra tracker in it. You can do whatever. And it's like, if it's something for the month or just like little notes, and then you're not keeping it in like a permanent spot because once the month is over, I assume you're going to take this month out and put your new month or next couple months in. All right, back to normal viewing. Okay, so when it comes out of the printer, it will look like this. If you were to fold it over, go ahead and make a book out of it right now. You see there are crop lines and I will show you how to do that. I use a guillotine cutter. You can use one of the slidey cutters. You can use scissors. You can use whatever you can cut with. I'm just going to show you how I do it. I, since this is a good cutter, I do um, two sheets at a time. And I always line up on the short side first. That's just personal preference. If you start cutting and you're not like wind up, you notice it's not close. Just go ahead and lift up or go back and... You can line it up better. And then I do the long side. I turn it so it goes to the next crop line. If you turn it the other way, there's no crop line. All right. Now you notice we've made three cuts, but now there's no crop line. So that is why it's very good to know what your measurements are. Mine are a true B6 size, 4.9 inches by 6.9, or if you want to get real crazy, you could go by the millimeters. Um, honestly, most of the time I just eyeball it a little less than 5 and a little less than 7. So I will go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll be official. We'll go to 176 milliliter, millimeters. There we go. And so I will put that there. And I will take my next two. And I like to do short side, short side, short side, and then this is the one you got to measure on. I mean, you can measure on all of them if you're more particular than me. Now, make sure you don't flip flop these. I do have, I don't know if you guys can see, in parentheses, there's pager numbers on everything to help you... Um, line everything up so you are not assembling your book backwards because honestly when I first made these I did not have page numbers and it was like my first time making a TN printable and I had I made some mistakes pages were not in order and especially like the weeks like a lot of them look the same and then I just I didn't do very well so maybe if you guys need special help like I do. You see, now I'm talking, so it's hard for me to figure out what's what here. Okay. That's why we have page numbers, guys. So you can easily see what goes to what. Oops. I see that one I cut just a little bit. It's just going to have to live that way. Trying to use the millimeters, which I never do. All right, so now we got our book. Some people, I don't know how they do it, if they just go straight like that. I have pretty thick paper, and I like it to lay really, really flat. So I do two sheets at a time only, and then I get something hard but clean so you don't mess up your paper to use as a bone folder. So I go through and fold two at a time. I got, I'm not like on a creaky floor. You know how you always have that one creaky spot? Okay, now I'm just, maybe take that over there. And we got one. 
one more. So if you already use a cover, or whatever, insert dashboard, you can just staple it just like that. I always like to put something a little bit more substantial. I do use thick 32 pound paper, but I just like something harder on the sides. So like, what if I just took my notebook out by itself? So I have double sided scrapbook paper. It's pretty thick. I thought it looked cute with that August one. So this has a little hole. So first I'm just going to cut that off so it doesn't get in our way. And for the covers, I just do straight five by seven. So it's very slightly bigger than the pages. So you notice I fold it in half and then I'm going to cut the excess off. You can be more exact than me. This is just how I do it. And so I'm going to five inches. And now we have our pretty cover. So we will put that in there like that. Let me move my cutting board here. I had to purchase this long arm stapler just to put, I made all these books for, um, <coughs> sorry, table mate gifts for a planner event, but you can't use a regular, I mean, you could maybe if you're better than me, I couldn't figure it out. So this I'll link it below. It was like 11 or 12 bucks on Amazon. And that's so much better than trying to do it with my regular printer. I kind of try to line it up in the middle because remember I cut my cover slightly bigger. And then I'm just going to put a staple there. And then I usually put one right at the top. And voila, you have yourself a little traveler's notebook insert. I hope this helped. Um, it's not that hard once you do it, but sometimes people are afraid of printables. So I wanted to do a quick video on what it looks like when you take it out of the printer and how to put it together. So if you have any questions, uh, find me on Instagram or Etsy or leave a comment below. Thanks guys.